What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Divine. I'm a musical choir, minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back again with a new video guys. I'm always excited. I'm always ready. I'm always ready. Really with good. Tommy Princess. Oh, Princess yeah. makeover Prisons. guys. Today we're about first time giving this a try. Jordan Peterson, why I married my wife. Yeah. This is going to be so personal and should I say really interesting for me. Yeah. I know Peterson. This is going to be really interesting for me. This is going to, this is going to be my first time checking this out and also First so let's give this a try. You know how to do it. Talk so that's right. Don't react more. Let's get into this video. Why did you marry her? Oh. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you one of the earliest memories I have of my wife because it kind of tells you what she's like. Eh? So she lived across the street from me in this little town that we grew up in called Fairview, Alberta. And I think I fell in love with her the moment that I saw her. And uh, although I don't think the feeling was necessarily mutual. And so I was about like seven, I think, something like that. So I've known her for wow. like 48 years. And here's one memory because this is there are two memories I'll tell you. So one of them was um, when I was in grade five, I got glasses and I was pretty proud of these glasses. They were horn rimmed glasses, you know, and, and I was pretty proud of them. And I went out and I she came out onto the street and she looked at my glasses. I said, what do you think of those? And she says, I think you look really funny in those. And then she pointed at me and ran into her house. And it was like 20 years later that she finally told me that she had always wanted to have glasses and she was jealous about it. But, you know, she uh -huh. decided she'd give me a good teasing and a good poke. And so that, and then we used to play croquet together. And one of the great delights she would take is, I don't know if you've ever played croquet, but, you know, you're sometimes the one person's ball that they're hitting and another person's will come together and then you can stand on your ball and you can nail it with the croquet mallet and like knock the other person's um, croquet ball halfway down the block and she used to think that was pretty damn amusing when she did it to me so but yeah I mean I told my dad when I was in grade five I, I was sitting with her on this big um, armchair in our living room and she was sitting beside me on the armchair which I was pretty damn thrilled about and, and she was being chased around by all the boys in the school at that point, even though she that was in the elementary school, you know. So she was very uh, hot property, let's say, among yeah. the elementary school boys. And so I was pretty happy to have her sit by me. And so anyway, she left and I told my dad that I was going to marry her. And uh, I remember that. And he told that story at our wedding, which was quite cute. And then I'll tell you one more story, which I really think is funny. This is so funny. So we... We were friends when we were kids and then, you know, girls mature faster than boys and she's a year older than me because I skipped a grade in school. We were in the same grade in school. And so, you know, when she hit about 13 or so, we kind of went our separate ways a little bit, although we still remain friends. And she had a paper route and I took her paper route over when she hit 13 or so and I like quadrupled the damn thing, I think, which I think is pretty funny. But um, I also delivered paper to her house and... Um, one day she was there with another, another of her friends and, uh, who was a kind of a cute chick too. And I liked her quite a bit and they were sitting around talking about like talking about how they were, uh, feminists, roughly speaking. And they were talking when I walked in about the fact that neither of them were going to take their husband's last name when they got married. And, mm. uh, Tammy, my wife, I think said to her friend, well, that really means I'm going to have to find some wimp and marry him. And she turned around and looked at me and smiled evilly and said, hey, Jordan, uh, do you want to get married? And of course, I'd heard the whole conversation. And, you know, she knew I liked her, obviously. And so that was a nice little comical dig. She has a very vicious sense of humor. And, you know, I kind of laughed and I thought, ha, ha, ha. OK, yeah, OK, mm, so fine. So then when we were, I was like 28 and she had come to see me in Montreal and um we were talking about getting married and she said we were talking about what that would mean and then we started talking about what the name would be and i said hey i've got a story for you um remember when you were 13 and i was delivering papers to your house and uh 
because I suggested that she take my last name and she wasn't so sure about that. And I said, well, you remember that little story, that, that little episode that we had when you were 13 and I came over to your house and you told me that you weren't going to take your husband's name and that you're going to have to marry some wimp? said, okay, well, you know, here I am. But, you know, if we're going to get married, you're going to take my name. And that's the end of that argument. <laughs> this is really funny. This is really funny, guys. Peter saying, damn. Damn, I'm really surprised. Like, he knew her ever since we were little. Uh, they have the bond, the yes. togetherness. Like, they really understand themselves. Like, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. To grow up with someone uh, you're going to get married with, you're going to live your whole life with. Ever since you were little, you knew the person, you knew the person, you grew up with the person, you saw the person stand up with you, grow up, transform to be a better woman, a yeah. better man. It's it's really amazing, like really good. I really admire him a <laughs> lot, a lot. And I'm proud of him. I'm really proud. I kind of like a little bit jealous. <laughs> to have someone like that, it's, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. What do you think? I enjoyed it. Like, you could see the smile on his face when he's yeah. remembering the memories to show how much he really do love her and he's very yeah. happy they got to marry at the yeah. end. This is very beautiful. Like, not everyone meet that love one from a very young age. Like, yeah. I'm going to marry this person when I grow up. Like, he did have a fairy to life because he ended up being with a woman he always dreamed of. But this yeah. is beautiful and just so, so incredible. Very beautiful. Comment down below if you're watching this video. How was your reaction? Give us a thumbs up. Share this with us. Maybe ask us to subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See you. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, just in my bed. I got scales on.